My name is Lizzie and my handprint tells my story. I live with my stepdad and my mom. I have a brother, he's 15, and I have a stepsister, she is nine. It's a huge family and we, we, I have family all over. I love sharks. They're beautiful to me. Um, people think that they're very scary because of their teeth. To me, they're very different and I love different. And they're fighters, you know, so I'm a fighter. I got diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma and I had stage two. Um, it basically affects uh, your lymph nodes. Not a lot of people get it, but um, people my age and um, get it more often. So it's kind of something I find out it's kind of something that you're born with, it's more like a gene. My whole family tree has, is, has cancer. There's been lung cancer, liver cancer, um, ovarian cancer. My mom, she's, when she was my age, she had uh, ovarian cancer. Her twin sister also. It's more, it's in the family for sure. I've had treatment for four to five months and now I have not had treatment for a month, so I've been cleared. So I'm done with chemo, and I will start radiation probably around next week. There's a lot of uh, difficulties <laughs> with it, um, but it, it turned out, it turned out very good, so. St. Joseph Children's Hospital is amazing. I don't, I have no words, I have no words for it, just amazing. They make us feel at home. They make a smile, they make it fun. The doctors and nurses, just everything here is amazing. And I feel so at home when I'm here. Cancer to me is being a fighter, a warrior, um, not giving up for sure. Um, I know that some cancers are deadly and some aren't. And I just knew that I was gonna make it. Cancer is just a word you don't you don't want to hear. You never want to hear, especially for us teens. It's very scary, but um, it's you just have to be positive with it. What I want to say to any teen out there um, who has gotten diagnosed, I know that it is very shocking, and. Um, I know that it's scary, but your family, I mean, you, you guys have to go through this. But my number one thing for you guys is to stay positive. Have a smile on your face. Be strong for your family members and the family members. Be strong for your kids. You just need to be very positive and always be happy. If I had just one wish, it would be to end childhood cancer.